Alright, so we got Bully versus Wasabi. Looks like Bully's gonna stick with Snake for this match. Which, I mean, I don't disagree with that. He tried the wolf at a Smash Sands and it didn't quite work out, so. Alright, like how Wasabi is facing out these bears. And a fair, too. And so far, Wasabi's just stacking up some nice damage on the snake. Which, I mean, it's fine. Ben can absolutely make this back, especially with some grenade pressure. Not quite sure how grenade works against Greninja's dash attack. I can't imagine it's horrendous for Snake, but... Am I getting that? Oh yeah, and that neutrally is gonna get Ben off stage and give Wasabi some nice stage position there. Pretty nice up throw combo there. Jeez, Wasabi really running away with this. Maybe Ben is not quite in the snake mindset, especially for this matchup. We saw it work last time, but... Alright, but we see uh, Bully is bringing this back. Definitely, definitely. I mean, snake is really big, so it might be fine. Oh, jeez, and he just throws out the up tilt. Taking that first stock. Good stuff to Bully. Yeah, and I agree with just keeping the grenade pressure up, except when he gets called out by that board air. That's one thing. Greninja sometimes I feel like struggles a little bit with kill power. He has those moves that are really good, like forward air and also forward smash and up smash. But like, sometimes just getting the setups into that can be a little tough. Yeah, he does have like down tilt conversions and up smash that works, uh, especially on heavier characters. He also has Shadow Sneak, which is really good at catching people uh, from, like, recovering from above. Right. Yeah, I can imagine that would be really useful here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, nice forward throw. Well, he's doing pretty well here. Just keeping uh, keeping Wasabi out with the grenade pressure. Nice forward tilt out of that parry. This is leagues different from what we saw at the beginning of the game. Wasabi was up a considerable amount. Yeah, I think this Greninja, or this matchup is kind of hard for Greninja, because Greninja really wants to go in, um, and Snake's really good at mitigating that. Yeah, again, Snake really just punishes any aggressive option, pretty much. Yeah, and I think a lot of the matchup is just, especially just any matchup for Snake, is keeping track of where that C4 is, because if you lose track of that C4, then that could be your stock very quickly. Right, absolutely. Um, On a lighter character, that up smash definitely would have killed, but um, not for Snake. God, I, and I just love... How he's getting these trades with the grenades. Wasabi's trying to fish for these kill options and it's just not working. Oh, uh, the shadow sneak not actually connecting there. It's quite unfortunate. I like the down air there, covering a lot of options. Up smash, almost taking it. Not quite. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, oh, my goodness. Was that Nikita? Yeah, it was Nikita. I think that was bad DI, but honestly, it was looking, yeah, it was looking, looking bully any, anyway. Yeah. So let's see what Wasabi can bring out for this next game and see if he can't uh, make any adjustments. And Bully, obviously, just keep doing what you're doing. Um, it's looking really good for you. God, look at Big Buff Ben on stream. <laughs> nice. Alright, game two. Losers. I really think it's Losers Finals. So. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure, right? See it on there. I don't know. It's either finals or semis. Either way, we're fine. Starting off fairly even. Yeah. Uh, I'm loving the way that Bully is commanding space right now. He's just really doing well with these grenades and <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was. The is he gonna make C4. it back? Oh wow. Yeah, he makes it back with the C4. Good stuff. I like the Z drop. And I think Z drop with Grain is just a really powerful option too. It's, it's like it's it's a oh, small wow, object. Oh wow, that was a really good Nikita. Yeah, it was a good one. It's a small object, and it's like it, when it's traveling slowly, it's just gonna cover that space really well. That up smash was out of nowhere, but it did the job. Yeah, it barely killed. I think a little less percent. And 
Snake probably lives mm -hmm. just because of his weight. Yeah, honestly. And maybe a little bit of sus DI, but I mean, honestly, it was it was pretty late for sense. Greninja not quite getting these setups that he needs. And I think that's really what's hurting Wasabi in this matchup. Yeah, Greninja has like really poor out of shield options as well, which is which kind of sucks versus Snake. Yeah, because you want to be able to like shield the grenades and then act really fastly to punish uh, Snake, but Greninja's not, not able to really do that. Jeez, that was a sick conversion off that grenade. I don't know if that was reaction time or if he planned that from the beginning, but th this stuff is, is just looking really clean for Bully. Nice, and again, Grenade is gonna, it's frame one. Yeah, and Bully's really just gonna look for these grenade trades now just to get like percent racked up, because he doesn't really care about getting this stock early, he just wants to get that percent lead. Yeah, and look, he's already, he's up 60%. Last stock. I mean, again, not undoable by Wasabi, but... This is just like... And again, the Grenade is just gonna take that dash attack. Yeah. It's looking very hard for Wasabi just because like the snake seems to have gotten into his like rhythm with the grenades and really playing around that. I really I admire the second back air there. Getting bully off stage would be really useful in this match. Oh my goodness. Yeah, raw up tilt. That's just a really powerful move. And it's super fast as well. Right. So bully is up 2-0. Luckily this is a best three of five, yeah. So we'll see if Wasabi, again, if he can make any of these adjustments. It was looking a little bit better that game, but like, he's gonna need to get into a different headspace, I think. Yeah, Bully seems to be really in his groove with these grenades and really um, kind of knows what he wants to do before Wasabi really even approaches. Uh, he's playing around his uh, zoning tools very nicely. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so far again, just grenade pressure from afar. I don't disagree with this. If he can get a percent lead, that's really all Snake needs. That was, a, again, another sick up conversion off that grenade. I'm just so astounded whenever people are able to do that. It's like, I love item play. I just, and I love, especially when it's like, off of something so trivial like a grenade, like you see that every, every time. It's like Duck Hunt's can in that respect. Yeah. It's always nice to see these like 200 IQ plays. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> Especially if it like results in a kill. And that grenade was super nice. I think literally he can't up smash him. I think that grenade can come out between the hits of up smash. I might, again, I might be wrong, but like. I mean, that looks like what it happened for what happened there. Yeah, and last time he tried that too. And that was a nice grenade drop. Oh my god. Jeez, yeah. Not very good counter there by Wasabi, but. Oh jeez, yeah. Charging the forward smash. The C4 is kind of in the middle of the stage, yeah. Yeah. Right now, Wasabi just needs to, he needs to take the stock, honestly. He needs to get like a forward air, some kind of conversion to up smash. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, he needs to take the stock before he gets like too much percent. Because uh, then Bully can just start pretty much just running at him and shielding with grenades. Yeah. Okay, late hip up smash, sending him off stage. Sad that he didn't capitalize off that stage control a little more, but I think um, it's nice to even just get a breather with no grenades on stage. A little early on that C4 there by Bully, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. He's getting that nice uh, neutral air. Oh my goodness, these, these counters are just not working out. No. Oh. oh! Is that, okay, really good DI by Wasabi. Yeah, but these Nikitas are no joke from, from Bully. They're really on point. Oh my and god! And waited for the roll. I... That was... Ah, that was nasty. All right, back air gonna take it. I agree with that. It's faster than forward air, and it's at, at that high percent. It's really what he needed to do. But honestly, at this point, Snake is just is super. Good. Oh my god, <laughs> going for the cheeky forward air off stage. Ah, Bully's trying to style at this point. Yeah, I think Bully's going for things that he wouldn't normally go for just because he has that percent lead. Yeah, he can pretty much do what he wants. Honestly, and I think he's a little. Like, he's emboldened. Um, they played at Smash Sands on Monday, and like Wasabi made a really big comeback. So I see, I feel like Bully kind of wants to oh, put wow. him in his place. And as I say that, Bully is gonna get stock taken off him. He gets that C4 nice, but um. Yeah, he just seems to start like running into these grenades. Um, yeah, nice conversion, down tilt and forward tilt. <laughs> 
I agree with the counter there. I really think Bully could have capitalized off it a little better, though. Yeah, I think the nice. counter, yeah. Yeah, the very nice. Like, really, it's a gamble because Bully can just react with up tilt if you land on that ledge. It's a very reactable, especially.